Within just the past couple of hours, Town of Tonawanda Police released a video showing the shooting and the chaos which followed this weekend outside a restaurant where a large party was taking place. It ended with one person arrested, but the actual shooter is still on the loose. Channel 2's Michael Wooten is in our information center tonight with more on this shooting caught on video. Michael. Yeah, Kelly, there is a lot to this story, including the business owner who was arrested after all this, accusing Town of Tonawanda Police of racism and discrimination. We're going to start though with that video. We do want to warn our viewers it might be disturbing to some people. It all followed a large party at Ying's Wings and Things at Sheridan and Eggert in Tonawanda. The video right here shows the large crowd leaving that non-alcohol party and then right there highlighted is the person who fired shots in the parking lot. Police say 20-year-old Eric Roseboro of Cheektowaga was shot in the lower left leg. He was treated and released from the hospital. Now for several weeks, Ying's has been hosting these underage parties. They have a DJ and the parties are very popular with more than 100 teenagers typically there. The promoter hires private security and the owner of the restaurant, Jimmy Ying, told me today he hired additional security. But he says Town of Tonawanda Police made those security guards stay inside the business so they weren't able to go into the parking lot, which is where the shooting happened. And right there is a close up of that suspect firing the weapon. Now, the business owner, Ying, was actually arrested and charged with criminal nuisance. He's been ticketed every other week he held these parties. He says Town of Tonawanda Police have used racial slurs in telling him to stop hosting the parties, saying that they brought in too many minorities. Ying actually filed a discrimination complaint with the state attorney general's office over all this. We're going to be talking with him and have more on that part of this coming up on Channel 2 News tonight at 11. Meantime, back to that shooting. No suspect has been arrested. Police hope that by releasing that video, the public may be able to help them identify the shooter. So we have that video posted so you can have another look. That's at WGRZ.com, Kelly. And Michael, for some reason, the town of Tonawanda police have refused to do an interview today, right? They gave us this video, but they won't talk to us. Refused yesterday and today. Yeah, we wanted to ask town of Tonawanda police not only about Mr. Ying's arrest and his accusations, but also about the shooting and that dramatic video. But despite our multiple requests, they have refused to speak with us at all. Now, as a result of all this, Mr. Ying says that he's not going to have any more of these parties at his business. And he says, Kelly, that's unfortunate because the parties allowed teenagers to go there, to go somewhere where they didn't have any alcohol sales. Um, and now those teenagers will not be able to go to a place like that. He points out that they've never had any other shootings or violent crimes like this up until this weekend. All right, Michael Wooten reporting live for us tonight from our Information Center. Thank you.